Mayor Rahm Emanuel warned state lawmakers in Springfield that disaster is looming for Chicago's $20 billion pension a crisis. The mayor says property taxes in Chicago could go up 150 percent. Class size could expand to 55 students in schools. Good evening. The mayor stressed that lawmakers must pass pension reform. He traveled to Springfield today to personally lobby for reforms to ease the underfunding problems that plague the city's pension system. ABC7 political reporter Charles Thomas joining us live now from Springfield with details and reaction this evening. Charles? Cheryl Ron, today marked Rahm Emanuel's first visit to the Capitol since his inauguration just under a year ago. He told state lawmakers that the entire state has a stake in Chicago's fiscal health. Meeting this challenge is the responsibility that comes with my office. After leaving a private meeting with House Speaker Michael Madigan, the mayor was given a celebrity's welcome in the committee hearing room. But Emanuel was all business asking lawmakers for reforms that would reduce the combined $20 billion projected shortfall in Chicago's six worker retirement systems. But without fundamental reforms to the pension system to guarantee retirement security for our employees, Chicago's economy and the quality of life will falter. To reduce the city's pension shortfall, Emanuel wants a five percentage point increase phased in over the next five years in the amount city workers pay toward their retirements. He wants to raise the retirement age to 67, give new hires a choice between the fixed benefit plan or a 401k, and for the next 10 years, eliminate automatic cost of living adjustments for current retirees. People are getting the fact that a 3% compounded COLA has a huge, huge, puts a huge, huge pressure on a pension system. Chicago Police Union President Michael Shields said the mayor should have presented his plan to the unions before he revealed it to state lawmakers and the news media. I would expect that the mayor and his staff would have leaked this to his employees rather than leaking it to the media as he continuously does. Late last month, Governor Pat Quinn proposed similar measures to fix the state's pension systems. Emanuel's recommendations for the city would require, in the long term, an even larger chunk of an individual worker's paycheck. As you know, the governor has 1% each year for three years. I'm suggesting for the health of our individual systems, 1% each year for five years. The mayor said that when it comes to pension reform, there should be no one-size-fits-all. He wants a plan that is tailored to the needs of the city of Chicago. Reporting live from Springfield, Charles Thomas, ABC 7 News. Ron, Cheryl, right. back to you. Thanks very much, Charles. Senator Mark Kirk issues his first public remarks since suffering a stroke in January. That's one of the.